Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Nail Art by Nessa. My name is Vanessa, but you can call me Nessa. Today we'll be continuing our nail art haul from AliExpress. Alright, so I've got an entire box of stuff to open. So let's get to it. So to start off... I have these packages from, I don't know how to pronounce it, Mezerdu. Mezerdu? Yeah. They are really nice in the way that they actually give you instructions on how to use the plates. So this package, I originally ordered six plates. However, I only got five out of the six that I ordered. Um, I ordered it June 23rd. It came July 9th, so it didn't take very long. Um, and this one came from the Mezerdu Art Show Store. And it cost me $24.09 Canadian for all six. However, I haven't received the other plate that I ordered, which was a large one like this one. Um, the one that I'm missing has sort of like space designs on it. Um, they've told me that it should be coming soon. However, it is now... 17th of September and I haven't received it Anyways, let's get to the first plate. So this one Mezerdu D06 And as you can see it's all sorts of types of um, dream catchers, which I thought were really pretty with lots of little like leaves and feathers Lots of little designs that you can layer together. Of course, these little pieces here are really pretty to go straight across your nail. And they are a nice size, so they're not too big, not too small. And I have never tried these plates by this brand, so I am looking forward to the tutorial. If you would like to see this one first, let me know in the comments. And I will prioritize according to what people want to see. Okay, so this is C12 Mezerdu. And this one is all like sort of Buddha type stuff, which I thought was really neat. Really different compared to other ones I've seen. I really like the water lilies. It's not focusing very well. There we go. Yeah. So anyways, really neat, different plate. Never seen anything like that before. This one's also cool. I really like the octopus legs. So this one is Mezzaju C27. You got some aquatic themes. Um, girl on the beach, but she's got like sort of starfish and stuff on her legs. You got some sailboat, some anchors, sunglasses. You got some water it looks like and some birds. So very beach themed sunglasses. It's a fun plate. Okay. And this one is C25. And they are quite large um, images. I didn't mention that before but we got some razor blades. That's different. Skulls, wearing hats, nail polish, I really like the um, shoes, so you got quite a few different things. Some more sunglasses, lips, okay. And then this one randomly, so the other ones came with like a nice plastic on the back, but this one for some reason, it still has plastic on the back, but it's different than the rest, I don't know why. So Mezzadu 9. Yeah. Um, I really like this one though. Um, it just kind of reminds me of the 20s and the 30s. It's just some of these designs here. But otherwise it's got like lace, flower powder in. It looks like maybe a phoenix there. Yeah. Alright, so that was my first package. But like I said, that cost me $24 Canadian. And that was supposed to be for six plates and I only got five. So from the same seller, this is the Mezidu Art Show Store. 
Um, I ordered this one May 3rd. It came August. I didn't put the day, so sometime in August it came. <laughs> um, and this one cost me $6.76 Canadian um, for two. And this one was refunded. So I guess because it took so long. Yeah, from May to August. It took so long that I ended up getting these ones for free. And oops, so Mesadu C07. And this one's like little pandas and bamboo and flowers. It's really cute. Some stars there. That little guy hanging. Okay, and then the next one is Egyptian. Once again, the images are very large. Like, you could maybe fit his face on there. Um, but they do have smaller images, like the camel here. I mean, the pyramids maybe you could put going across your fingers. I don't know. But some really cool, like, patterns and designs in here. Um, and I did actually order another plate from the same company um, with, like, like a tiger and sort of, I don't know, like jungle sort of stuff on it. Um, and it never came. So I did get my refund for it, but I never received the item. All right, moving on. So this one, I don't even know how to pronounce that. You Dali Beautiful Life Store. Um, so I ordered it May 3rd. It came June 4th, and this cost me a dollar seventy-eight, which I feel like maybe I could have got these from the dollar store. <laughs> They're uh, just little cup type things to put your your gems into and things like that while you're working. But you think if they're gonna sell it to you, maybe sell one more so that you have like a complete sort of set that fit together. Um, yeah. So this was a dollar seventy-eight. So almost two dollars. I don't know. Is it worth it? Maybe not. <laughs> but I'm sure they'll be good to use. Okay, so from the same seller, um, I got these gems. And this one was March 27th I ordered. It came June 10th. And this cost me $3.73. And I got two packs of these. Okay, so I got some snowflakes, stars, um, it looks like little umbrellas, yeah, umbrellas, little crosses, Chanel symbol, and more crosses, I guess. Okay, and then this one, you have little triangles, which are cool, the moons, I think the moons and stars will be really cool for like some of the sort of sky themed ones. There's these little squares, some more stars, hearts, and triangles. Okay, I think that's a pretty good deal for three seventy three. dollars Okay, to the next seller, Wakefulness Art Store. And this one I ordered May 18th. It came August 28th. So I was refunded because it took so long, and I was refunded five dollars and six cents. Um, this one I was refunded because it took so long, but when you can see the package, it's kind of like bent here. I don't know if you can kind of see that. You can sort of see. Um, and it was actually the whole plate was actually bent, but I was able to bend it back. As you can see, it looks pretty flat. There's just this one corner that's still kind of sticking up. But otherwise, it looks pretty good. I should be able to use the plate, no problem. Um, this one is all leaves. And the it's like S-Joy Plus plate. Um, so S-Joy Plus 37. Anyways, it's all different types of leaves and leaf patterns, which I think are really cool. So it'll be great for fall here. Seeing that we're going into fall now. There's the bird. Okay, on to the next. So 
So this one is the same company, Wakefulness Nail Art Store. And this one was bent as well. So I was refunded. Um, I ordered it in May, May 2nd, and it arrived in August. And I believe I was refunded for the bend. Um, you can sort of see, I tried bending it back, but it is still a little bit bent. So hopefully I can use it with no, any problems. Yeah. Um, but anyways, it's an astrological one. It's also the S-Joy Plus. I guess it was upside down. Um, so, Astroy Plus number 12. And it's all sorts of ast astrological. Yeah, it's really, you can see a bend right here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So we'll see how well that works. Um, but yeah, so you have sort of your stars and then the lines that connect the stars. Um, you have like your bull head and then the the head to color it in and the horns so all of them kind of layer together the woman with her hair the lion and his mane so it's a pretty cool plate hopefully it works properly and there aren't any issues if you would like to see me attempt to use this plate considering that it was bent um, let me know in the comments okay next we have Wakefulness Official Store. So though it sounds like it's the same company, it's, I mean, it might be the same brand, I don't know, but it's a different seller on AliExpress. So Wakefulness Official Store. Um, this one I ordered March 30th. It arrived in May, May 29th. And I got a refund for $2.20 because one of the plates didn't arrive. Originally, I paid $12.38, so this cost me basically $10 for these plates. And they are not the same brand, so they're not the Joy ones. Okay. So these ones, they're not etched maybe as well. Um, so it would be interesting to test these ones out. So I guess these are just generic brand BC37. There's no plastic covering. Um, I would assume they're pretty sharp on the edge. So once again with these ones, um, you can buy plastic um, sort of plates to place your plates on. So kind of like how this one has the plastic on the back um, and it's just stuck to it, you can see. So you can buy plates to stick your metal plates too, um, just to give it extra support um, so they're not sharp on the edge when you're grabbing them, that kind of thing. But anyway, so moving on, this one, it's got some sort of newsprint, kind of got like a, I don't know, is that like a elf and girl type thing, some snakes, it's got a good variety, sort of a couple making love maybe, a couple kissing, broken glass, so lots of different options on this one. This one is more, it's, so BC38. It's kind of got like sort of different Asian theme, I guess. Um, yeah, you got some sushi. So some Japanese symbols maybe, or Chinese, I'm not sure. If it's, I'm gonna say this is Japanese because it's got the, the lucky cat with his arm up. Some sort of karate guys. Some like sort of masks. Looks like an anime character here. So it's an interesting plate. Okay, and this one, so BC 34. So we have a mermaid and some aquatic themes. Looks like flying fish. Yeah, so this is all like aquatic. We got some hammerhead sharks. Looks like a koi fish. It's like a, I guess a fish with bubbles. It's hard to kind of tell what that is. Yeah. Okay. Next, BC 22. You can just see it's just simple designs. BC 
got like half a tiger head. That's really large though. I don't know how that would fit on my nail. I guess this is like a snake eye or something. I'm not really sure. We have a cat. It's like a zebra, but it doesn't really look like a zebra. Maybe it's a giraffe? Yeah, it must be a giraffe. I don't know. These ones are harder to tell what they are. All right, and here's another animal one. A bunny in a basket. Rooster. Maybe an eagle or something. Some dogs, a lion. Okay, and then last but not least, BC31. We got some um, leaves here. Looks kind of like feathers. But they're large designs, so it just kind of be the sort of design. It wouldn't be the actual feather on your nail. Okay, moving on. So this is the same store, Wakefulness Official Store. Um, May 3rd I ordered it. It didn't arrive till August, and these ones were refunded because they took so long. Um, and originally I paid $7.10 Canadian for them, for all three, um, but they were refunded. Okay, so this one, so this is the Estroy um, company, and they do have the plastic on the back. And this one is kind of neat, it's kind of like reminds me of like the mountains in China or something. And you have someone fishing in a boat, some landscape there, birds, mm -hmm. and I'm not really sure, maybe that's more mountains, I don't know, it's really hard to tell what that is, and the sun, it's kind of cool. Okay, more astrological type, I really was looking for something like this, I thought this was a really cool plate, just really simple, just put different like stars on your nail. So, S-Joy 07. And this one got a little bent. As you can see. It's not bad. I can probably bend it back. But This one is a pretty cool one, I thought. With different layering flowers. So you can do your roses layered, um, tropical flower. And then you have a little bundle of flowers there, which is kind of cute. Okay. Next, this one is the Wakefulness Official Store. Um, I ordered it May 31st. It arrived August 24th. And in this one, we have a bunch of polishes. So these are all stamping polishes. Okay, so I got seven, I think. Yeah, seven polishes, and that cost me twenty six oh seven Canadian, including shipping. I did wait a little while for it, but it did eventually come. <laughs> um, and this purple is actually the purple that I have on my nails. So I had to test it out before. I haven't tested any of the other ones, but that one I did test out because I needed to do my nails. So... This one, you can see it's quite a nice purple and it stays true to the color. Okay, we got a nice pink here. I have not tried this one. It looks nice, nice bright color. We got a black here. Oh, so if you wanted to know the colors, so this one was, the pink was five. The purple was 16. So the S-Joy brand stamping polish. Or 2-Joy, is it 2-Joy or S-Joy? I don't know. Um, so this is like a navy blue. It's really nice. Uh, 
Um, this one is a very pale blue. If you would like to see me test all of these ones, just let me know. The pale blue was 07. Um, this is kind of an in-between blue or more of like a true blue and it was number 10. That's a nice blue. Okay, and then I also got black and white. So black is number one and white is number two. So if you wanna see reviews of all these colors, please let me know in the comments and I will make that a priority to make those videos for you. And here is the black. Black and white are definitely the most important colors, I find. And that's a really nice dark black. There's nothing like a black that's like see-through. It doesn't work. Okay. Okay, next. So next we're moving on to another um, company. So this one's called MF Nail Art Store Store. I know that sounds funny, but it is, so it's capital MF, and then in small letters, Nail Art Store, and then capital S Store. Um, this one was bent, uh, so I got a refund for it. I ordered it May 18th, it didn't come till August, and originally it was $3.51. Actually, I'm not sure if I got the refund, I just said that it was bad and it was bent. Oh yes, I did get a refund for this one. And you can see how badly bent it is. I tried to bend it back, but I really can't. It was kind of bent into a bird shape, so you can see this big crease down the center here. And then it was bent... Like a well, like a flying bird, if you can imagine. Um, so I don't know if there's any fixing this. You might be able to use some of the outside edges. Um, but yeah, it's not very likely you're gonna be able to use very much of that. Um, maybe these ones over here. It's a really cool plate otherwise, so I'm really disappointed that I can't use it. It's so, so badly bent. You can see that. Um, so this one's called Finger Angel V18, and it does have the plastic on the back, but you can see it's coming away from it a little bit. Yeah. Unfortunately, this one is just basically garbage. Okay, so from the same store, MF Nail Art Store, um, this package I ordered August 25th and it came September 9th and it cost me $7.57. So this one came very fast. I did get some tools, a plate, and some nail foils. So all of this together cost me $7.57. Um, I did end up buying these nail foils because it actually made it cheaper for me to get um, the other items that I was purchasing at the same time. It was one of the AliExpress um, sales that they had. Anyway, so these are just some really cute nail foils. Once again, with nail foils, you do need to um, have special nail foil glue to stick them down. But as you can see, you get a large amount. Like, it goes on and on. It's quite long. Um, and it's very pretty. Um, sort of hollow, holographic. Let me just wind this one back up. Right, so there's quite a few choices in this box. Um, I just really like sort of the mermaid style. I thought that was something I didn't really have a lot of in my collection. I'm really having a hard time getting this back in here. There we go. 
Um, but lots of cool choices, really pretty colors. And it matches the colors in my tools. So these tools are really great for applying things like the nail foils, just to stick them down. So once you have the nail glue on your nail, um, you place the, um, the foil on top and then you kind of need to like rub it on like so. So you do this kind of motion just to kind of push it down. And these are just like rubber tipped um, tools and they're all like that. They're all just so slightly different. You could also use them when you're like finishing your um, stamping and just kind of to push things down onto it like around the edge when you've got the little bits hanging off. Anyways, and then I did buy one plate from this company as well. This one I don't believe was bent, thank goodness. Um, this one, once again, doesn't have any kind of covering. Um, it's just called XYZ38. <laughs> um, but it's a really cool plate. Um, this one I will attempt to attach it to a plastic backing. Um, I did order some at the same time as I ordered this. Anyways, yeah, so really cool sort of geometric shapes. Okay, and I believe I still have one more. One more for you. I'm just trying to make some room here. Okay, so MF Nail Art Store Store. Um, this one I ordered May 29th. It arrived August 28th. And, well, it was refunded. As you can see, all of the plates are bent. So we can attempt to bend them back. I haven't bent them back yet, just so I could show you. So I just bent my, um, knocked my camera. Um, so originally it cost me eleven seventy eight for these four plates. Um, but obviously they're not supposed to come like this. Okay, so this is SPV024. And as you can see, it has some really cool flowers and stuff on it, but... Let's see if we can bend this back. Well, somewhat. It might take some work. <laughs> you can kind of see how it's bent here. It's like a ripple here. Anyways, something I'll have to work on and test. If I can bend it back, we can do a tutorial on it. But anyway, so then this one, which unfortunately it's bent right on the circle. So this one is like a happy face plate. Um, SPV027. Um, if it wasn't all bent, you'd use the circle and then you can put the little faces in it to make the different emojis. They're basically all smiling emojis, but... I thought it was pretty cute, considering how much people love emojis nowadays. Um, once again, another bent plate that, you know, I really like those sort of sh different sort of geometric shapes and patterns. And unfortunately, this is the second plate I'm showing you today that is bent. That is similar to this. Yeah, you would have hoped that at least one of them turned out, but anyway, this one's really cool with the lips. I really like that. And the hand here. I don't know if you can sort of see that. It's like a hand. Yeah, so just a matter of trying to bend them back. And unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to use these two images because there's a ripple in between. Okay, and then the last one of this package that's all bent up is SPV028. And this one is just more flowers. Um, I just really like these sort of liney type <laughs> designs as you can see on my nails. I just like that. But yeah, unfortunately these ones were all bent. So see if I can bend them back. Um, we can try and do a special tutorial video on the ones that are bent and see how that works out. 
Okay, so that's my video for today. Um, on my next video, maybe I will open the plastic backings so that we can attach some of our um, plates to them. And then I have more. I have a lot more to go through, so stay tuned for my next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Talk to you soon. Bye.